Well, hello everyone. I thought it was time to read another book. I hope you enjoyed the last one. If not, you can go back and find that, uh, find that recording. Um, today our story is called The Little Yellow Truck by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Kevin Zimmer. The Little Yellow Truck is about a pickup truck that longs to be included when larger, more powerful vehicles help to build a children's park. Let's get started. Riley had a red dump truck, a green flatbed truck, a blue concrete mixer, and a yellow pickup truck at his lumber yard. One day he told them, we have a very important job. I have bought a piece of lumpy, bumpy, clumpy land, and together we'll turn it into a beautiful children's park. Together, an important job? The little yellow was excited. He had never been on an important job before, and never with all the big guys. Big blue and big red and big green and little yellow drove to the lumpy, bumpy, clumpy land. Riley and his helpers came too. They picked up the trash and loaded it into big red. Let me move myself out of the way here. While little yellow sat by and watched. Big red drove the trash away. After that, Big Blue turned his big bowl and pumped out concrete. Squish, squish, slurp, burp. Riley and his helpers created a picnic area with walkways and a little foundation. They took stacks of lumber that Big Green had carried and made a fence. Bang! Clank, smack, whack. Fabulous, said Riley when they had finished. Did I go too far? Nope. Little Yellow waited. He flicked his lights on and off. Don't forget about me. I can do something important. But it was Big Green who ended up driving away with Riley. Is Little Yellow getting sad? It was Big Green who brought the swings and the slides. He brought benches and tables for people to sit on and eat their snacks. Little Yellow didn't flick on his lights or rumble his engine. The important job was finished and he had done nothing. Oh, well. Everyone looked all around. Fabulous, Riley said again, but it's not ready yet. Little Yellow perked up. Something for me to do? Something for me? Let's go, Little Yellow, Riley said, and climbed behind the wheel. But it looked as if they were driving back to Riley's lumberyard. Was Little Yellow not going to be part of the children's park after all? But they stopped at Ray's garden shop. Ray's workers began filling Little Yellow with plants and shrubs and flowers, and there were bags of soil and grass seed and fertilizer. Let's move me out of the way again. Thump, dump, plop, drop. Little Yellow and Riley drove back to the children's park with the sweet smells of jasmine drifting around them. People waved as they passed. When they stopped at a red light, a small girl told her mother, look, it's a garden in a truck. It's so pretty. Riley's helpers scattered the grass seed around the tables and the benches. They planted the plants and the shrubs and the flowers. Everything and everyone and every place needs beauty, Riley said. We're almost ready. And almost as if by magic, a nice black cloud arranged itself above their little garden and sprinkled it with little raindrops. 
Butterflies, honeybees, and hummingbirds came to explore. Riley laughed out loud and said, okay, now we're ready. Big red, big green, big blue, and little yellow went honk, honk, plonk, hoot, toot. And look at all the people coming ready to enjoy the park. They look excited. And the children came rushing in. Riley's helpers cheered and all the vehicles sounded their horns. Little Yellow gave an extra long toot, 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 toot. The children's park was open for business and he got to be part of it. He did an important part of that job, didn't he? So this book was dedicated to those who struggle to find their place in this big world. Please know that you are valuable and you're destined for greatness. And that's a message from Kevin. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon or morning, depending on when you're watching this, over and out.